Okay, howdy YouTubers. Um, sorry for my look right now. I went to Pittsburgh over the weekend to visit family while I still had time from being off of work. And all I wanted to do was come home and take a shower and just go to bed in a sense. Like, I am exhausted. Um, I seem to get that way more often. I've noticed um, I get winded pretty fast. Like, if I move too much while walking, like taking off a jacket or carrying something while walking, I'm exhausted. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> So, like, I don't know, if I bend down to, like, get dressed, like, pull my pants up, I have to sit down because I'm exhausted. I, I get so winded. It's really ridiculous. Um, okay, so stats for people who are here. So, last week I weighed 297. And um, let me go to my highest weight was 230. My surgery weight was 208, and this week, um, I couldn't weigh myself in the morning, so it's nighttime stats. I weighed somewhere between 192 and 193. 193 with my clothes on and 192 with my clothes off. Um, so, you know, we can just say 192, the clothes probably added maybe... A half a pound. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's between, like, what? Four and five pounds. I'd say that's better. It's getting better with losing weight. Um, so, now I'll talk about food. So, I've been on my egg ricotta cheese diet for a week now going into the final week of that. Um, eating? Yeah, at first it was okay. I could handle it. Now, not as much as I could. I, um, I think my nerves are starting to wake back up in my stomach, so sometimes, not every time, but sometimes when I drink and sometimes when I eat, it hurts going down. Not necessarily feels like it's getting stuck. It just, I could feel it go down right in like the chest area. It kind of feels like little rocks going down. And then it's like, I get kind of like a quick pain in the chest and I, it's like I have to breathe to kind of release it. And it's just, it's kind of painful. Um, I don't always have that issue. It's just sometimes, and I do like watch how I eat. I take little bites, I take sips when I drink. So I'm not quite sure why that happens, but I am quite sure that I'm sick of eggs. Like my grandmother made quiches and she put, like, she should have only used not even maybe half a package of spinach and she used a whole thing of spinach. Like I'm not even technically supposed to have spinach, but we figured for the extra flavor, <laughs> extra health, something that I'm missing in my diet, since I can't have medications yet, like vitamins and stuff, so I don't know. But I don't know where she thought, like, you, she used six eggs and put a whole package of spinach. When she makes quiche, she probably uses, like, between six to eight eggs, maybe even ten, I don't know. But she only usually uses half a pack of spinach. I think she should have used, like, a quarter package of spinach, honestly. <laughs> so, um, Yeah. So I'm totally turned off of eggs. I made one when I got home for dinner. I had a few bites and that was it. I was done. I just, I could not eat it. I'm still totally turned off protein shakes. Um, I still like my Atkins Lift protein drinks. Um, the only thing is, is that it's like juice and I've been thirsty lately. Thirsty for water. So I've been drinking a lot of water lately, um, which is good. I'm supposed to drink water. But it's like I gotta get that protein in. I'm, I try, and I, I at this point I don't care <laughs> anymore. Just gotta get through this last week of not being able to eat a little more normally. Um, next week I'll be able to have like chicken, moistened chicken, some mayonnaise, 
tuna fish. Um, I could have veggie burgers. So I got a lot of stuff that I can have um, already and prepared. Um, dairy products don't typically sit with me well. I don't know if I mentioned that. I've been having issues with dairy. You know, just trying to get like protein in here and there. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll have a Greek yogurt. It's just like, oh, it doesn't feel good. It's heavy on the stomach. So uh, I might try to see if I could do it now that it's been a week with the egg and see if it helps any. Um, but before I was having trouble with it. Um, other than that, everything, I guess, has been going good. <laughs> um, so here's some interesting news, which pray to God that this guy does not see my YouTube videos ever. Um, so like if anybody watched any of my pre-surgery videos, I talked about this guy I've had a crush on only to like find out that he was seeing someone at the moment. Well, over the weekend, he sent me a friend request, and I almost deleted it. If we didn't have one mutual friend, and if his Facebook profile didn't say where he lived, I would have thought it was like one of those romance scammers, one of these dudes that are just, I don't know, weird. And he spelled his last name differently, which I can understand because... He's a constable, so <laughs> he doesn't want to be, like, found out. So I couldn't figure out who he was. He messaged me, and he's like, how's your recovery from surgery going? And I'm like, who is this? <laughs> How do they know? I mean, I've told people where I work. Um, I, I work at a grocery store at the moment. So I told, you know, people there, like, what I was doing, because we have another lady who I'm kind of like I'm friends with I love her to death um but people were like we're worried about her because she lost a lot of weight really fast and I know she had issues with drugs in the past and so they were afraid you know maybe she got back into them that's why she lost all this weight I don't know I didn't know her back then um you know I didn't know her ever being any bigger than what she is now she's a stick and from what she told me, and I take her word for it, just because that's the kind of person I am, uh, she said she just cut back on the junk and started eating better. So, good for her, if that's what she did. And that's what I'm going to believe, because I hate seeing the worst in people. But anyway, so he added me on Facebook, and he kind of chats me up, like... He sent me a message, I sent him a message, he sent me a message, I sent him a message, like, just tiny back and forth. And I thought it was interesting, because I thought for the longest time this guy just hated my guts, because I crushed on him so hard. And I still do, but not, I wasn't as, I'm not as bad as I was. Like, I don't know, for some reason this guy made me so freaking giddy, over the moon. <laughs> giddy like high school giddy Ugh. and here I thought he was older than me and according to his profile he's a year and a half younger than me so I'm okay with that M more mature of a guy very polite met his dad once very polite <laughs> comes from a nice family so then like how I figured out it was him um one I messaged my mutual friend with him um, which I didn't get a confirmation yet, so I stalked his profile. He doesn't have pictures of himself, but he has pictures of other things, um, other than saying he's a constable, which could be anybody around here, honestly. Um, even I could petition to be a constable for my area, um, just because, but it's a volunteer job. They don't pay their constables in my town, unless you, um are contracted through, like, another township. But in my town, they don't. So anyway, I was looking at his profile pictures and all his other pictures, and one, interested in guns, check. Um, same kind of car that he drives, check, but a lot of people drive that same car. And then, like, I was looking through 
his Facebook posts and what other people, mostly what he posted. He doesn't have a lot from what other people posted, but I noticed someone with the same last name as the guy I like spelled the proper way and was calling him cousin. I was like, okay, it has to be him. And then my friend confirmed, and she's actually neighbors with them, and has been for many, many years, and even spoke of how polite they are. And I'm like, I've had a crush on him forever, and the politeness thing was probably what I was mostly attracted to first. Um, other than the fact that I like tall guys with beards. <laughs> so, there's that. So that's like a plus, and you know, he wished me well in recovery, and was just so nice. I mean, he's he's a quiet person in person. Um, kind of hard to hear, kind of talks really low, and I don't know if it's because it's the grocery store and he doesn't want to like project his voice throughout the grocery store and whatnot. Um, we've talked on little things here and there. He kind of opened up more. He lets me talk, which is kind of cool because I love to talk. So that's been going great. So I can't wait to get back to the grocery store. And like, I think it'll be interesting now that we've become Facebook friends to be talking to him in person. And maybe he'll ask me out even as friends, which I'm totally cool with because I like, I mean, I know people but I don't hang out with people and I wish I did so maybe something will stir up there in a good way I hope so I really, 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 really I really hope so <laughs> um but yeah, like to me that's a plus and It'll kind of be great because I have someone who can nicely watch me from this to this. And, you know, I think especially when it comes to relationships, anyone who's not in a relationship or serious with anybody, I think it's nice for someone to know who you were before and watch you get successful from your surgery. Um... So, like, I, that's what I hope it does turn into something. Because I'd hate to meet someone when I'm thin and then, like, have them see pictures of me of what I used to be and be like, oh, my God, no. Because <laughs> uh, I know it's a lot for someone to handle. And I'm a handful. I mean, I grew up a lot like him. Polite manners, church going, even though he's possibly not into that or just doesn't feel comfortable posting what his beliefs are. <laughs> um, sorry. But like, that's how I initially grew up because I lived with my grandparents for like, ever. <laughs> not ever, but, but then I moved around a lot with my mom. And that's when things started to change. And then, like, by the time I was in high school, like, I was in a more stable position in high school for the most part. Like, the end of middle school into high school. I had a little more st stability. Um, and I think I just, from being bullied and picked on, I was maybe chubby, but I definitely wasn't fat. Especially not like how I am now. And I think just my attitude towards people changed. The people I dated getting hurt. I think my attitude changed. I don't know if it's the walls that I put up that made me a little more harder. But I don't know. I'm not as polite as I once was. And I think I need that in my life. I dated guys that were totally immature. Which... A little immaturity is fine. Um, it brings out the fun, you know, and I love, you know, I love that. But it's like there's times to be serious, and that's what they lacked was the serious part. Um, I am friends with almost all of my ex-boyfriends. Um, so it's like I don't 
really hate anybody, but it's really hard to be with someone who, like, my ex, even now, thinks it's funny to be like, I just want to cut your head off in, like, a joking voice. And I get that he's, like, joking, and I know a lot of you are like, oh, why would you be with someone like that? It's because I, I he, it's a serious joking voice, but then it's like, I know his inner demons, too, and so saying stuff like that has become inappropriate. At first it was funny, and now it's just really creepy and annoying. Even though I know he's joking, it's just creepy and annoying. So, I don't know, I'm hoping that this guy, even if we're just friends, is more mature. And I hope he helps bring out the more mature side of me that I know I have in there. It's just that when you date guys with that aren't in, that don't have that maturity level, um, sometimes it's hard to keep up. You kind of fall back into that, you know, immature high school stage. <laughs> Especially, like, where I work, too. That doesn't help. There's a lot of immaturity, a lot of drama, and it's like, I hate drama. I mean, I love hearing about it, that's great, but I hate being in the middle of it, I hate causing it, and yet sometimes when you're around all that negativity, it comes out because you're human, and that shit happens. <laughs> so I just, I don't know, I need someone down to earth to help keep me a little more level. Because I've, forever, I've been the one that tried to be more level. And so I think if there's, like, a happy medium, you're good. And, you know, I'm going to be 27. I'm not getting any younger. But, yeah, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of exciting and wanted to share. Because, you know. I've been crushing on this guy, and it just seriously surprised me that he even added me on Facebook. So maybe he just wanted to check me out, see what I'm all about. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Definitely keep you updated on that. Uh, don't know if I have anything else to post about weight loss and, or anything, really. But I figured I'll babble on about something to make this a little interesting. Well, that being said, I am going to post this and get to bed. Good night!